Hello everyone, my name is Patricia and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to bring you a Vendor Wax haul. This is my second haul from a Canadian company called Tallulah & Poe. And so far I am really happy with Tallulah & Poe. If you have not checked into them, I suggest looking into them. They have flat rate shipping within Canada and I believe she ships to the US. If you are a US customer, keep in mind whatever prices you see, once you do the conversion from Canadian dollars to American, it's going to be a lot less. So, anyway, it's probably a problem when you see a box this size come, come uh, basically I had to go to the post office to get this one. Now, once I removed all the packaging, um, it's maybe like a third full. Um, I'm just, I'm hoping that she, I was maybe too much for this, like the box, next box down and she had to go with this big box. But anyway, I did remove all the packaging and I did cheat and smell everything last night, but I decided... I'm going to shoot a video. So a lot of these come in the box. It's re they're really pretty um, little packaging and she always tops her box with a nice tissue and usually the samples are at the top. She also includes invoice, like uh, what do you call these invoices? I don't know what they're called. Um, so that, you know, she can check off that she gave you everything you ordered. Now, sometimes what I do is I put an order in and if I'm not needing those items right away. I just put a special code in and what it does is it tells her that I um, I want her to hold over my order until, and I usually just group some orders together and that's why I've, I think there's three orders in here. So there's a summer order, then some of her items went on sale so I added a few more and then there's a fall order. So what I'm going to do is try to go through things and I think there's only one item in here that I've had before so I won't, won't really talk about much about that. So let's go with the samples first. We'll just randomly pick. Um, a lot of her shapes are either little hearts, little paws, little little tiny shapes. Her wax is on the harder side. Uh, this one does have um, glitter, but most of them are, are pretty plain. And, and I kind of like that. And the packaging is very simplistic. And she does put the scent notes. Um, no pour date or anything like that. So the first one is uh, Wonderland, which is waffle cone, cotton candy, and marshmallow. And I do have this. I haven't warmed it yet, though. Yeah, you can definitely smell marshmallow and cotton candy. Waffle cone I can't really pick up. That one's Wonderland. The next one we're going to do is Unicorn Dreams, which is lavender, tonka bean, ylang ylang. And it, this is a lush, sleepy type. Again, it is a heart. Now, lavender blends sometimes scare me a little bit so we'll see about this one okay this one is soft so I'll probably be able to handle it and I uh, as far as I know Tonka is kind of like a caramel vanilla honey kind of tone but no I, I mean I don't smell honey or anything like that I smell like a lavender and a slight floral and a bit of softness there so okay the next one let's stick with lavender since I don't really like lavender, but, you know, I always like to try things. I like to branch out. This one's called Lavender Festival, and it is lavender and vanilla, and it is a heart. Okay, this is stronger on the lavender, but soften with vanilla. I still think I can handle this one. It's going to be good. Um, and something like that I would just pop in my um, warmer right next to my bedroom. Okay, what do we have next? Toasty Warm is a two-tone heart, and it is basically eggnog, French toast, and vanilla. And I think I might have had a sample in this. I'm not sure. I have so much wax that i got to get going on warming it. Yeah, this is a very fall scent. You can definitely smell like the, the French toast. Like You can smell maple. Yeah, I can smell vanilla. Eggnog, I always find hard, eggnog hard to smell, but... Okay, this one I've picked up already. Um, it's a little sample on all paws on deck. Two little paws. Basically, it's Coconut Boathouse, Ocean Avenue, and Coconut Grove. Now, some of those ha are their own um, their own scents that she mi mixed all together. Yeah. I like this because this has Ocean Avenue, and Ocean Avenue is a bit on the floral side. So if you are scared of florals, you this may be a little bit too floral for you. But it also, I think um, there's a component of like shaving cream and stuff like that. This is a nice, fresh, summer, yeah, this is nice. A little bit more refreshing, um, bit 
coconut involved in there. That is good. Okay, these are so cute. These, this one's called Sugar Sugar. And the scent description is sugar cookies, cinnamon, clove, vanilla, and vanilla bean noel. And they're the cutest little men. They're like little tiny white men with sprinkles. Uh, glitter, sorry. Mmm, this is nice. Very soft cinnamon. Mmm, can't really smell clove. Look like maybe like slate in the background. So if clove scares you, I think you'll be okay. Yeah, this is a very nicely blended scent. Sugar cookie, vanilla bean Noel. Very nice. That one's called Sugar Sugar, and that one's not available yet, so it's probably upcoming. That is a nice one. Okay, now when I put my last order in, I always have a list, and I, I you know I go through, and I missed one item, so I went back just to see, and of course it sold out. So it sold out really really fast. And she included a sample of that, so that's very nice. It's called Smoked Woods. And a lot of her fall items have this little tree instead of her traditional heart, which I noticed. So this one is Smoked Woods, which is fireplace, maple sugar, bourbon, and tobacco. Ooh, and it's a beautiful leaf. Whoa. Yeah, this is um, medium to strong. Yeah, you can definitely smell like the smoky tobacco, which is kind of all the rage right now. Bourbon, I don't know, maybe a little maple sugar, maybe a little. Um, this is really nice, probably like a tobacco fireplace. If you're into that kind of stuff, this is going to be right up your alley. That one's called Smoked Woods. And that one did sell out quickly, but you never know, she might add it back in. Okay, so let's go through the summer items first. Now I kind of sometimes I kind of go overboard, so please don't judge. Please don't judge me. Okay, the first one we're gonna do is called Just a Sip, which is a six pack of pink pink hearts, and the scent description is lemon soda, orange soda, and a hint of guava and passion fruit. Okay, yeah, you can smell sodas, lemon, mostly lemon, and I can smell passion fruit, guava. I don't know. Anyway, that's nice. A nice, soft, I would say soft to medium fragrance, good for the summer. Uh, and this is very hard wax, so typically harder wax, more paraffin in it. Uh, they usually last longer. So what I'll do is I'll date everything and I'll try to use it up uh, within a year. Okay, Strawberry Fields. This one is described as strawberry milkshake, lemon pound cake, and sugar milk. Yeah, I, I don't know, I'm, I don't know. This one's got the lemon, I can definitely smell. Sometimes lemon, it's okay for me. Strawberry is soft, a milkshake kind of brings it down, like not super vibrant on the strawberry. Yeah, and sugar milk, this has pound cake sh sugar milk. Yeah, that's okay, not my fave, but well, I have two of them. <laughs> but yeah, still use it up, no, no worries there. Now, Purple Rain. I'm not really sure where she came up with this name. This is Candy Fluff, Sugar Waffle Cone, Marshmallow Fluff, Fluff and Creamsicle. And it has glitter. Oh, this one is stronger. It's stronger. I smell basically, it smells plum, like plum to me, like a plum waffle cone. Very sweet and tart at the same time. The Marshmallow Fluff, I mean, if there's, if there's not a lot of that in there, but... Mm, this is really, really nice. I, went, I got two bags of that, so I'm happy about that. Again, this is called Purple Rain. Makes me want to break out in song, a little When Doves Cry or something like that. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is Sticky Fingers. Now, these are just adorable. These are little tiny bunt and little tiny, um, I don't know what you call them. Here's one shape with drizzle. And the other shape in the bag, you get six in, a, six in a bag, is this little bunt cake. Isn't that cute? Okay, this one has strawberry jam, zucchini bread, and fresh strawberry drizzle. And I definitely get strawberry, and I definitely get the zucchini bread. And I'm still figuring out if I'm a zucchini bread fan. But we shall see when this warms. Yeah, you can definitely get the strawberry. I am interested to warm that. I only have one of those. 
And because of the drizzle, the bag is gets a little bit grungy, but that's that one. Okay, so the next one, I it's kind of interesting. So I love grapefruit scents. And she has a Facebook group. And if you are thinking about ordering from her, I suggest you go on her Facebook group. Uh, when I find her card in the box, I will show you. But it's not. It's a nice small group. Um, she puts pictures of what she's making. And sometimes she doesn't have names. And she put this one up. And she described this one as ruby red grapefruit, pink sugar, and buttercream frosting. So you would expect like a, a tart grapefruit. A little bit of pink sugar and a, like a nice sweet underlying creamy tone from the frosting and I decided I just said you you know oh that's right up my alley and I said Aunt Ruby and I put it in quotation marks and guess what she called it it's called Aunt Ruby I feel like it's my I know it's not made for me but but I feel like it is <laughs> anyway again little tiny bunts uh, and little angel food cakes it's good. It's got grapefruit. I don't get a, I don't know if I get a lot of pink sugar. I just get grapefruit and a, like a slightly softened tone by the buttercream. I got two of, two of that. I think some of these I went back and, and she did mark them down later on just trying to make room for her fall items. So I do have two of the Aunt Rubies. I, I watched General Hospital and I said Aunt Ruby reminds me of if anybody has a General Hospital fan and you've been watching for years, you know who Ruby is. She used to own the Kelly's Diner. Anyway, okay, the next one is a big, chunky heart. And I do not have how many ounces is it, but it's big. It's two-toned. This one is Choco Orange Dreamsicle. And this one is still available. It's on sale on the site. It's still available. There's a lot of wax here, so obviously you'd have to chop it into bits. Whoa, if you love chocolate and orange... You are going to absolutely love this. Chocolate is like a milk chocolate bar. It's, this is so nice. Oh my gosh. I, I think I might warm this this weekend. Yes, I might. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we're almost done this, this one. We have another big chunky heart. It's called Sweet Cakes, which is cake, peach, and strawberry it's hard to see so just take my word for it cake peach and strawberry it's got a little bit of it's a two-tone with de decorative accents and it's got a little tiny bit of glitter okay this is on the lighter side this is basically I can smell peach a little bit of strawberry and the cake um, but lighter so maybe it'll become a little bit stronger I am currently warming her Georgia uh, what's it called I forget something with peach I think it might be in another one actually and it is maybe light to light to medium so sometimes with peach scents I, I do want a little bit more punch of peach and that could just be me personally okay the next one we are going to do is the flying high sampler so I I picked up two of these because they went on sale so this is what it looks like before you open it it's beautiful um, and she, she puts her little sticker and once you open it inside there are five five different scents and each scent has four four hearts so we will go through these quickly here because otherwise this video is going to be way too long the first one is 50,000 feet which is flying high which is candy fluff and salty sea air and satsuma Ooh, definitely heavy on the satsuma but you can smell that little bit of the um, flying high mix which has the salty sea air that is nice. The next one we have is High Dive, which is Flying High. So Flying High, just let's simplify. Flying High is Candy Fluff and Salty Sea Air. So this one is Flying High plus Fizzy Soda. And this one has a little bit of sprinkles. These all have um, glitter on them. Yeah, you can definitely smell the soda. And a little bit of the Salty Sea Air and the Candy Fluff. That is really, really nice. I remember when I smelled this sample sampler last night, I really, really liked it. So. The next one is First Class, which is Flying High plus Grapefruit. Yes, you can definitely smell the grapefruit. Yeah, and you can smell a little bit of Flying High. I would say grapefruit is like 70 and Flying High like 30. The next one is Low Key, which is Flying High and Hawaiian Tropic. Ooh, I love this one. This one's like a, a light to medium, but I love it. 
yeah, I love um, sunscreen, sunscreen type scents. That is really, really nice. And the last one is Candy Clouds, which is Flying High and Saltwater Taffy. And it's a bright yellow, and I love yellow, so sometimes that sways me, but mmm, this is nice. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Yeah, that's going to be good. I have a Yankee Candle saltwater taffy kind of in progress right now, so I could kind of um, melt that. Um, sometimes what I like to do is I, I put my melts on, and once they start dying down, then I light up candles to kind of boost the, the fragrance a little bit. Okay, now let's get on to uh, the next thing is quickly we will do, she had a, what's it called, iced tea sampler. It's going to be a long video, guys. I'm going to work as quick as I can. So this was on sale, and I picked it up when it was on sale. There are a little collection. So I'll go over this one first. This is what I'm warming downstairs uh, right now, sweet tea which is basically Georgia peach, red bush tea, and sponge sugar. And this one has two little two little pieces, but the rest of them all have five. And I think I read something that happened with the oil, so she can only give slightly less of this one. I'm not sure. I, I'm make, probably making that up. Yeah, this one is kind of like a soft, it's almost like the, the, the skin of the peach. Not super, super strong. But more sophisticated probably better for a bedroom I'm warming it downstairs um, it's a little light in my open concept space but maybe nice for a bedroom the next one is just peachy white tea white peach and splash of sangria these are little white white flowers all these are like little flower buds oh yeah this is stronger on the peach yeah this is a little more vibrant that is nice I'm gonna like that maybe I, I could mix some of those in with the other one what I like to do is melt things by itself first and then kind of mix them if I need to. So the next one is called Tea for Two, which is iced Robia, Robia, I can't even read that, R-O-O-I-B-A-S T and creamy vanilla. I think that's from South Africa. I believe she, she was born in South Africa and she's been in Canada a long, long time. Yeah, this is a softer tea scent as well. Almost like a, a little tiny floral to the tea. Very, very light on, like light in general, but very light on that floral. Um, you can smell the vanilla, so. Okay, what do we have? We have, uh, it's always tea time, and there are no scent notes with this one. So let's see. Yeah, this one smells almost exactly like the other one. Very close to tea for two. Yeah, I mean, it's a tea scent. And I'm not a real big tea person, but I thought, you know, it was on sale, and I'm like, I love samplers, so might as well give it a try. The last one is Lemon Squeezy, which is iced lemon tea. Beautiful yellow. Whoa, this one's strong. Light, lost, heavy on the lemon. But you can smell the iced tea. That is bang spot on. Bang on with that one. Super. Okay, love the samplers. Put them back in a little bag. Okay. We are 18 minutes in and we still have not got to the fall one. So let's kind of whiz through the, this as quick as I can. Let's go this with this one first. This is a bakery bag. She started offering these. This is the straw. I can smell this without even opening the bag, guys. This is called Bulletproof Coffee. The notes on this are black coffee beans, whipped vanilla butter, and creamy coconut oil. And let me tell you, this is strong. Okay, this will be a great mixer. I'm not a big, strong coffee person on my, on its own, but I'm going to be mixing this. Whoa. And, I mean, the stronger the better because once you start mixing, those notes sometimes soften the coffee. So, yeah, this is going to be good. Really happy with that one. And, obviously, I'm going to be cutting the hearts. I won't put that whole heart in the warmer. Okay. The next item, this was just something I picked up with my last... Uh, it's basically pause in the sand. I went through that in my last thing, so we won't go through that today. Okay, so p pumpkin spice everything. These come in these beautiful hearts, and the set notes on this is pumpkin creme brulee, pumpkin spice latte, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, as soon as I say latte, I usually buy something. I'm not big on pumpkin pecan waffles, but 
Yeah, this is nice. This is like, like a sugary, spicy bakery. I could smell that all day, actually. That's really good. And I love the, the simplistic but pretty um, look of the uh, tarts. Really nice. I love how flat they are, too. Okay, the next thing, and this is, these are so nice, I don't even know if I want to warm them. Okay, it's called Fall Breeze, which is Mac, Apple, and Leaves type. And let me just show you a couple of these. These are leaves, and there's different shapes. I think there's three or four different shapes. And look at them. I don't know if you can see. They're like, they vary in grade, and the, the they're just so pretty. Mmm, I can definitely smell Mac Apple. Mmm, and leaves, I mean, leaves is from Bath and Body Works, I believe. Uh, I'm not, I've not uh, uh, burned leaves before, but I've smelled it. But yeah, this, that is really, really nice. Love it. Okay, the next one we have is uh, Autumn Harvest, Big Hearts, and this one is Pumpkin and Apple. So probably similar to like a Pumpkin Apple Bath and Body Works kind of candle. Mmm, very apple-y. Not a lot of pumpkin, which is nice for me. That is good. The next one we have is Pumpkin Kisses, which is Sweet Pumpkin Spice and Bakery Treats. Little tiny bit of glitter with this one. This is nice. Very fall, I mean, you know how you smell, like you think of fall spices and like the bakery and the pumpkin. This is really, really kind of right up that alley, perfect. So that one's called Pumpkin Kisses. And some of these are still available. Some have sold out. But when she does um, put a restock on, some of the items sell out really fast, probably like within the first five minutes. Another thing lasts for like a while. So, okay, the next one is Fireside Delight. This one's a little funky. Well, the lighting, sorry, the lighting's not great. Uh, basically, this one is funnel cake, chestnuts and brown sugar, and apple picking. I love brown sugar and like that kind of stuff and nuts. Yeah. Mmm. Like the brown sugar and the chestnuts are really nice. Funnel cake, I'm not really sure. And apple picking. I don't really know what apple picking smells like, but I can't really smell a lot of apple in that. The next one we have is Waffle House, which is coffee bean ice cream, French toast, and sugar waffle cone. And this is what it looks like. Sorry, the lighting is really bad in here today. I'm on the way to work soon, so I have to film this quickly. Yeah, you get a lot of French toast. Um, you get that warmth of, um, it almost smells like honey and coffee. A little bit of maple, the waffle cone. Yeah, the coffee is probably light on that, maybe like 25% or so. Okay, the next one is blueberry waffles. I picked up two. They're so cute. White with blue, and these ones are described as sweet blueberries and fresh crispy waffles. Definitely smell a lot of blueberry. I would say like 80% blueberry, which I love blueberry. I don't smell a lot of waffles, but you never know. That might come out more once warmed, and I'm not really sure about cure time. I find with harder wax, I think uh, sometimes they don't need as much cure time, but but it's good to let things you know rest for maybe a, a month. That the you know a month is kind of a good guideline. Okay, we have Orchard Bonfire, which is Mac Apple and Marshmallow Fireside type. Mmm, definitely I can smell the Mac Apple and the Marshmallow Fireside. About 50-50. That is really nice. I would say right now that is light to medium. Medium maybe. Okay, the next one is Cookie Heaven. This one is cookie, or sorry, almond cookies and vanilla butter fudge. This one I believe is still available when I looked earlier. Well, this is kind of strong. You smell a lot of vanilla butter fudge. Um, maybe a little on the almond, maybe more on, to me, more on the vanilla butter fudge than the almond. That is nice though, kind of strong on that one. If you like strong scents, maybe, uh, I find most of her things are, you know, medium. Some of them are medium, some of them are quite strong, and some of them are, a, a few of them are light, but most of them are at least medium. 
Okay, so fudge matters. This is cranberry orange scone, Danish butter cookies, and butter fudge. So this one is still available, I believe. Sometimes I think when you see fudge matters, you think it's going to be like all sugar and sweet, but there's basically cranberry orange scone in this. So I love cranberry and I love orange. I definitely smell that. And you can smell that butter fudge. Danish butter cookies. Maybe that's a, like a, a quarter of it. Yeah, this is good. The first thing that hits me is the cranberry orange, and then I get the butter fudge, and then I think I get the cookies. Okay. Hello Fall is a beautiful greenish-gray wax, and it is a big waffle heart. And this one is described as blackberry jam, ooey-gooey toasted marshmallows, and waffle cone. I definitely smell the toasted marshmallows. Waffle cone, the blackberry surprisingly is not heavy in this. I smell it a bit. I wish it was a little stronger on the blackberry, but again, I will let that sit for a tiny bit and then I will warm it. And I think I picked up two of those because anything with blackberry I tend to love. And we are on the last item. This one is called Go Nuts for Donuts. Isn't that a cute name? Uh, this one is pretty pink wax. Uh, cider donuts, crunch berry cereal, and jelly donuts. Mm, I smell jelly, and I smell that crunch berry cereal. Sorry, the lighting. Look how shiny I look. <laughs> okay, cider donuts. I smell a little... A little something, something. That might be the cider. I don't smell a lot of donuts, per se. I smell like the, the stuff, the good stuff you like about donuts, but not a lot of the dough. Anyway, that is nice. I would say medium on that one. And that's it. I should show you her card. And I definitely encourage you to check out her Facebook group, Tallulah and Poe Wax Company. Um, out of Ottawa, the owner is Kate Mc. Oh gosh, what's her last name? I forget, Kate. Anyway, super, super nice, very approachable. I've always had good experience dealing with her, so um, definitely suggest you look into that company, order a few things, and see what you think. So thank you for spending the last 28 minutes with me. As always, I hope you have a wonderful and great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.